So it's Sunderland versus Sheffield Wednesday. This is your review. Let's see how we do today. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciate it. Liking helps the algorithm. Sharing gets in front of people's faces. And subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. So, Sheffield Wednesday are playing Sunderland away. It's our first away game of the season. And it's the first time that we're going to be donning the black uh, out kit for this game. Now, I feel like we've spoke about Sunderland way too much on this channel during the summer because they were after everyone we've been after and it's just been a royal pain in the backside and it's just, you know what? Now, let's get the talking done on the football pitch, shall we now, lads? Because it had been annoying because every time we seem to have been in for someone, they've been in for the same person. So it'll be interesting what happens there. So Sheffield Wednesday are going to be playing a team who got a win at at uh, their first game like we did. They start with Patterson, Hume, O'Neill, O'Neill even, Alicia, Cricket, Neil, Riggett, Robert, Job, Clark, and um, Mayanda. Uh, Moore, Mund Mundella, Roosh, Barr, not even trying that one. Uh, and the last three, I'm not trying either. Johnson. Um, good lineup for them. Not too bad at all. We go with Beadle, Valentin, Iorfa, Bernard, Maxlow, Ingleson, Bannon, Gasama, Masaba, Windath and Jamal Lowe. Uh, Charles Palmer, Valentin, Awitway, Johnson, Kabachi, Smith, and McNeil and Ugbo are on the bench. So it'll be interesting to see what happens considering they were after Ugbo in the summer as well. So let's see whereabout we are up with them in the game. I think it can be a really tight game. I think there's not going to be much between us. I think defensively, I think I saw a Sunderland fan say they're not the greatest. So that could help us a little bit if defensively they're not as strong as they could be. But Sheffield went, if we start how we did versus Hull, that would be fantastic. But if we keep up the same principle if we did versus Plymouth, stay on the attack. Let's see what happens with that. But this will be more of a test on the defensive side, I feel, because I think it's something that we haven't had much of a test there yet. And I think that's where I want to see us get tested a little bit more. If we can add that attacking press right from the get-go, we know what we can do at Sunderland. We did it last season. But again, different Sunderland to last season. They've made some changes. They've got a new gaffer in. Different principles are in. So let's see how we do. And hopefully we leave the stadium and light with all three points. Well, 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 well. That was not a good half of football in terms of individual mistakes, was it? Um, let's start it off where it was. It was I offered 200 appearance today. You're thinking, can we get off the, get another good start today? But they really do. We have a couple of chances going down the side with both uh, Gassam and Masaba, but nothing really sticks. And then they just get a free kick, foul by Windak, gives it away. And then it floated in at the back post to him, and it's an open goal, not open goal, open man on the goal, uh, no one tracks him, and it's 1-0, and it's just an individual mistake by Windath that cost us there, you're thinking, all right, let's get back into this, let's try again, let's try and reset and go again, and we really struggle to reset here, we struggle to get the position right, We they're all over us, their high press is really working well against us, and you're thinking, come on, let's wake up a little bit, Beadle kicked the ball out to Windath, Windath does a weird flick thing, without thinking who's behind him, player gets it, knocks it forward, and it's 2-0, again, it's another Windath mistake, it's another Joff Windath mistake that causes it, and on set pieces, we're looking kind of really vulnerable, Really vulnerable. When did the set peak? You are thinking that might be another game, uh, another goal coming in, and you're really struggling each time it does. The concentration levels are not there at times, and it's showing it. This is not the wins out sale of a lot of the players. We're making silly mistakes, we're not keeping it much. There's no attacking idea come, coming in. They have another really good chance. Get, get the cross into the box, cross comes in. And again, it's Joff Winder keeping the player on side. Joff keep the player on side. Like, just by not tracking the movement. And it's three goals all because of three mistakes. Now, 
it's not a um, game of the individual. The team has got to take a lot of responsibility for the way we played. It's not just uh, Joshua's fault. Everyone else has got to turn up and play play for the, the for the day. And I think quite a lot of Sunderf Sunderland fans are shocked by being 3-0 up. Um, they play some good football, though. They're attacking well. They're making the most out of our mistakes. We've barely been in their half at all. Uh, there was a really good chance for Ingleson, which got ruled offside. Uh, he did get it in the back of the net, but offside. So I wonder if that goes in and counts, and then it, maybe you think, my this might work here. But completely different set of players in terms of mindset from last week to this week. Uh, really look deflated already at half time. Danny is going to have to really get into them and figure out how to improve it. But three, three individual mistakes is what cost us. Uh, and they'll just be a bit sloppy. And it's not the lag confidence, big style. They're pressing so high on us whenever we got the ball, we're not able to move about. I said Sunderland would be a better test than it would have been versus um, Plymouth because you get that press and intensity. And they're just pressing really well on us. And at half time, we are 3 0 down. We need one hell of a second half to not have this be a bad, bad half of football. So in the second half, we bring on Michael Smith, um, which I thought we were going to be taking off um, Windaf. We didn't. We took Gasama off. Looks like we were going more direct, but. Same, kind of a little bit the same as the other half. We put, knocked it around well. They do get a good fourth goal, which is a goal that from their play. Really good play from their point of view. Knocks it forward. Does well. Doesn't come from a Sheffield Wednesday mistake, which is nice. Um, but it's just the mistakes that have cost us this entire game. And the thing is, we just weren't at it. First 10 minutes, we were great. And then it just went on from there. They had a lot more of the ball trying to knock it forward. We tried to make things work, but nothing really did, does. Windass eventually comes off. Windass off, Valerie off, and Palmer on and Paul on. I thought Paul did okay at the time trying to get crosses in, trying to see if we can make something work here. But they just knock it about trying to get things going. And each time they are doing, they're just finding little pockets of base. It's not a case that our heads have gone down in this game. It's just a case that the game's done. The game's won. Sunderland have come out today, and I think a lot, quite a lot of Sunderland fans are going to be quite shocked with how they performed today, and in a good way, be happy with the result. Because I've seen some have gone that they weren't at betting 4-0, and they'll be happy with this. We've now obliterated our goal difference from the start. We've gone from 4-0 winners on the first, week, first day to 4-0 losers on the second day. And at the end of the day, we learn from it. We've got to learn from it. Uh... Both Max and uh, Jamalo come on. Ugbo and Johnson come on. Good work by Valentine. He's trying to put a cross in. Wins a free kick, Ugbo, but nothing much. And then we're just trying to see the game out as much as possible, trying not make it more. They do have very close to having another good chance, but don't come to anything. Smith, right at the end, hits a ball, a ball over the bar uh, for us, but it's a defeat. On the road, it's a bad defeat on the road. Uh, it will knock the confidence in some of the players, I think, and the momentum. We've got a big week ahead of us now. Uh, we've got Leeds at home. Big game. Got to be switched on for that one. Sunderland has always been a bit of a bogey team at their place. Um, fair play to them. They had a game plan. They got it done. They made the most out of our mistakes. And that's the thing. If a team makes a lot of mistakes, you've got to try and capitalize on them. And they did that. And it's a team game. We we win together, we lose together, but we've got to work on these little mistakes and try and do things and try not force things. But end of day, 4-0. Back to the drawing board for Danny.